my channel in today's video we have our favorite video because now I feel like I can call this your favorite video it's definitely mine it is time for our August favorites and I cannot believe that August is over because the year is almost over the rest of the year is going to fly by but I'm happy because that means the summer is almost over here in Atlanta even though we have a few more months so let's quickly get into my favorites Okay, so I don't have too many makeup and skincare things, so I want to start with those. The first item that I've been loving this past month, and once again, I hope that you guys can hear me because there are lawn people outside and they're, they're kind of loud, so I hope you can hear me okay. But the first item I want to talk about is this Lancome Taunt Edo Ultra Wear Foundation. I take the shade 450 Suede Neutral. I've been wearing this for probably about a half the month I have it on today I think just because I'm wearing so much sunscreen and I'm also using a bleaching cream for my hyperpigmentation my skin tone has just lightened a lot so the summer color foundation that I was using in previous months is just a little too dark right now uh, probably next month I'll be able to wear it but right now I'm just very bright and this has been the perfect color for me it also has amazing coverage for being such like a natural lightweight foundation so I've really been loving this uh, it's really weird because I started using this when I lived in Atlanta and I think at that point I had moved back from New York and then I think I moved back to New York I can't fully remember but I have like a couple of different shades in my foundation collection because I was a different color when I was living in New York but then sometimes I can wear that color but this is a great color match for me right now but uh, when I get a little bit of a tan it tends to be too light the lipstick I have been wearing this month that I have been obsessed with is the Charlotte Tilbury Penelope Pink. Shout out to my girl Sheree here on YouTube. She always talks about this color. It looks amazing on her. I bought it months and months ago, but I didn't really like the way it looks, but now I found the perfect way to wear it. I pair it with a brown lip liner. I use Nutmeg from NYX and it's perfect. It's my perfect nude. I just love it. The formulation of this is also nice. It's like a MAC satin lipstick with a little less pigmentation but I really do like it and this has been my favorite lipstick of the month the next makeup item I have is the blush that I'm actually wearing right now and it is NARS Taj Mahal this is an OG favorite especially for women and men of color I think it looks so amazing on a deeper skin tone uh, a lot of times if your skin tone is very deep it's hard to find a nice blush but if you are having trouble check out Ah, check out NARS Taj Mahal because it's really a gorgeous blush that I think you will love. Uh, I think that's about it as far as makeup. Let's get into some skincare. I bought the Super Goop sunscreens uh, sometime early this month or late last month and I've been obsessed with this. It is the Super Goop Antioxidant Infused Sunscreen Mist with Vitamin C. It is Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I love it. I love any spray sunscreen because sunscreens tend to be very thick and goopy and they're hard to lather on, especially if you're going to the beach or the pool, which I have been doing a fair amount this summer. And this is my favorite sunscreen. I also like that it has vitamin C in it because you know that is one of my golden standard products as far as skincare and anti-aging, as well as a sunscreen overall. So I've really been liking this. It's also non-aerosol, which I think is great for going through the airport or something like that. Not exactly sure but I've been loving this product okay I have one body care item that I've been obsessed with and this is the Bath and Body Works aromatherapy sleep lavender and cedar wood body lotion with natural essential oils and shout out to my girl Natalie because she actually told me about this I don't know what we were talking about but she was like you have to try out this collection at Bath and Body Works and she had actually given me a gift card for my birthday which was so sweet of her so I was actually able to pick up a few of the items from the aromatherapy line and she was not joking when she said this will put you to sleep I don't have problems sleeping but Sometimes I'm up late because I'm like watching YouTube or watching Netflix and I should be sleeping. So sometimes I just put this all over my arms and my chest and I just breathe in deeply and it really helps me sleep nicely. So check out the Bath and Body Works aromatherapy line. Nothing new. It's just 
nothing that I've ever really gotten into, but I love it. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is actually <laughs> my pillowcase. And this is the pillowcase that I'm using. It is by My K Silk. I will link the website down below as well as a coupon code for you guys to use to get, I believe, 15% off. I was contacted by this company and thought it was an excellent idea because I've always wanted to try a silk pillowcase. Uh, but I don't know why I just never took the plunge. This is a white silk pillowcase and you guys it is the softest thing I've ever felt. I also have latex pillows because I feel like they hold their shape a little better and this just feels so cooling on your skin. You guys I took this silk pillowcase out of the packaging. I put it on my bed and I think I had just gotten back from Savannah and I was exhausted and I took a nap. Now I don't take naps. I'm that person who cannot take a nap to save my life. I usually just can't get relaxed enough to fall asleep and then I wake up all discombobulated because hours have passed and it's like what have I done? You guys, I fell asleep. Like I did not mean to take a nap. I was watching Orange is the New Black and this pillowcase you guys, it is so soft. Uh, my girl Happy Stylish Mommy here on YouTube before her channel got deleted, she posted uh, a review of this as well. I believe she got this as well as an eye mask and she loved it. You guys, I'm hooked. I'm, I'm literally hooked. Now I need silk sheets for my bed. Like I'm about to be a fancy girl going to sleep because I'm hooked off silk. It's just so soft, it's so luxurious. And you guys, the biggest testimonial is that when I put it on my bed, I fell asleep. It's just so soft and comfy. Also, a silk pillowcase is nice because it's also great for protecting your hair if you don't want to wrap your hair or put like a bonnet or a scarf on it. And also, it's great for skincare as well because a cotton pillowcase just soaks in any moisture that you have put on your face and it's also rough on your skin. So there are many benefits to using a silk pillowcase. It's sexy, it's soft, it's good for your skin, the three S's, and then it's silk. Get a silk pillowcase. I promise you will be in love. And I'm not just saying this because they sent it to me. This product is amazing. So I'm going to leave a coupon code as well as the website down below. So if you guys are interested, you can try out your own silk pillowcase. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is my new scale, which I will insert a picture of here. It is by A Tech City. I spoke about this in my favorite workout products, weight loss products video, which I will also also link down below you guys I'm obsessed with this scale I'm always the OCD person who's constantly weighing themselves sometimes a couple of times a day I just like to know where I stand as far as if I need to pull back a little or if I can have some fun the next day so I'm that person who weighs themselves at least once a day I love this scale because it tells you the percentage of body fat you have muscle mass water mass anything like that it also tracks your progress because you use it in conjunction with an app on your phone so it's really nice just to see where you are throughout the week and the month and i can't say anything else about that scale it's simple to use it's amazing and i love it okay speaking of fitness and weight loss things the next thing that i want to talk about is just so amazing because i honestly just don't know who i am anymore and it is strength training i started strength training this past month because i kind of hit a plateau i've been working out consistently since december or let's just say yeah since december and i've lost over 30 pounds i'm still doing great but some weeks, I have weeks where I don't lose anything. I've also been traveling a fair amount this summer and traveling just throws me off because I can't have complete control of my environment, whether it's I don't have my car with me or I'm with someone else. It's just hard to completely control everything when you're traveling. So my weight loss definitely hit a plateau and something that I started doing was increasing my workout by 10 minutes. So I now do 10 minutes of strength training every single day and I will insert a picture of the weight machine that I have in my home gym. Uh, it's a gold gym like I don't know it's like an all-in-one machine and I use it to do my arms and abs and I think it's really made a difference. I just feel I feel like my weight loss and my fitness has been kicked up a notch. I also do a greater intensity on the elliptical and on the treadmill. I'm just trying to add small things in that will help yield results. So 
Um, I've really been enjoying doing strength training and I love the fact that you burn so many more calories lifting weights than on like an elliptical or a treadmill. So that has been a great experience for me and I'm just happy that I have a machine like that in my home gym because I don't have to touch the germy ones at the gym that I go to. <laughs> okay, next I wanna talk about this bag that I featured I think last month on my channel. It is the Teddy Blake, I actually have the packing slip in front of me. The Teddy Blake Napa Ella Orange in the color, in the size small. This is what it looks like. You guys, I've been using this bag so much this month. If you don't know, I've really been into mini bags lately. I think it's just something about the summertime. I hate having a large, cumbersome bag. I like being hands-free because I'm going out more, I'm traveling, and it's just really useful to have a nice, compact bag. I also like that it's such a bright color because as you can see today, I wear a lot of black so having a little pop of color has been nice I've been using this like every weekend on every trip that I've taken this month and I'm obsessed with it the one thing that I will say is it is a loud bag so the chains make a lot of noise they constantly slide and you're gonna hear that so if you're bothered by things like that I would maybe pick a different style also one thing I noticed today is that my chain it kind of smells like metal. Now it doesn't smell like, you know, how sometimes you have metal hangers and when you touch them, like your hand just feels really gross or maybe it's just me because I have an aversion to metal, but you can definitely smell this. Um, and on your hand. So now that I know that, uh, I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but the great thing is that this chain strap is detachable, so I could always include a different type of strap that isn't so noisy and that doesn't leave my hand smelling like metal. But beyond that, I've really been obsessed with this bag. Uh, I know some people were probably thinking, is she really going to wear it because she loves her designer bags? Yes, you guys, I've been wearing this every week and I am obsessed. Okay, let's get into some miscellaneous. The first thing that I wanna talk about is a game. Shout out to my girl, Aisha. I will link her channel down below. I talked about the trivia crack game that I loved last month. And in her video, she was talking about Candy Crush. You guys, okay, so when Candy Crush, when the craze started probably a decade ago, I wasn't really into it. I'm obsessed with it now. I'm gonna tell you guys what level I'm on. And I've only been playing it for like, well probably three weeks three or two weeks i play it every night before i go to sleep i'm obsessed with it this is trivia crack let me get to candy crush i just love it i think it helps with like spatial like reasoning and logic i just love it i am on level 244 some of the levels are super hard but overall i just love the candy crush game no this is not a sponsored video i'm just obsessed with that game and it's so weird because i'm not someone who likes to play games but candy crush i love it okay the next thing i want to talk about is something that is near and dear to my heart you guys and it is none other than da -da -da, chick fil a's macaroni and cheese now you guys you guys know i'm a chick-fil-a lover and that is one of the things i had to give up on my weight loss and health journey because i was probably a little addicted to fast food before i lost my weight i would go there if i was hungry late at night i just i loved fast food i still do love it and chick-fil-a is probably my top love just because it's everywhere around me and it's so tasty and they have great keto options actually but my girl Coco McQueen posted on Instagram. She was the first one that I saw talk about it. So shout out to you, Ash. Uh, and she posted that it was bomb. And I take her advice and her opinion. I know she knows what she's talking about, whether it's makeup, TV shows, restaurants, anything. So I decided to try it. And you guys, it is amazing. It's amazing to be a fast food macaroni and cheese. Honestly, it's even amazing to be a restaurant style macaroni and cheese. I like it because it has three different cheeses and it has a crust. Now, I also saw my girl Kelly do a review of it on her Instagram and she was like, nah, it's not it. I am going to say, if you don't live in Atlanta, okay, Chick-fil-A is probably different in your state. When I lived in New York City and I would go to the Chick-fil-A in New Jersey before they put one in New York City, 
it was not the same. They don't toast the bun. The bun tastes different. The chicken tastes different. Chick-fil-A in Atlanta, where it started, we just, they love on their food a bit more. So when I picked up my macaroni and cheese, it had a nice crust situation going on. There was crust all up through it because they had like taken two scoops out of the pan. I mean, mm, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. It was amazing. So I am going to say it might be a little different if you don't live in Atlanta because I've seen other people's reviews of their macaroni and cheese and it had no crust. Connecticut, I'm talking about you. I think it's a good happy medium between being like your southern grandma's macaroni and cheese and a restaurant macaroni and cheese. So try it if you have not. It's definitely not going to be like the macaroni and cheese you make. Well, I don't know. It's not like the one I make but it's the best restaurant one I have had. Okay, I also wanna talk about a bottle of champagne. <laughs> I did a lot of celebrating this past month, this past whole summer. Uh, a lot of people have birthdays in my family this summer season and uh, my mom actually gave us a Grand Dame Vouve champagne and it was the most delicious bottle of champagne I've ever tried. I told my mother that now we have to do a champagne toast on everyone's birthday with that champagne. It is worth it. It's great. I know not everyone loves champagne, but I love it. I just, I love champagne. So shout out to Vouv because that, oh, it was just so amazing. Okay, another thing I want to talk about, let's get into more healthy things. Uh, these Zone Perfect Nutrition Bars. This is the chocolate chip cookie dough variety. I picked these up from Kroger. I know when I did my what I eat for breakfast, no, what I eat in a week video in my weight loss Q&A this past month, a lot of you guys were saying you would, like to some, you would like to have some breakfast or snack options. And I was saying that I honestly don't eat breakfast because I can't find a lot of keto-ish friendly foods. And this is actually not keto friendly. It has 24 grams of carbs and 18 grams of sugar. So it's not really keto friendly, but I find that sometimes in the morning I will have like half a bar if I just want like a meal replacement because this does fill me up. It also has 10 grams of protein. If I'm gonna work out in the morning, I will have half a bar because sometimes if I don't eat before I work out, I can start feeling like a little woozy. So, you know, for half a bar, that's nine grams of sugar. It's not totally bad, it's not the best thing, but I also am not on strict keto, so I can really have what I want. But I do love these bars. A friend actually told me about some Slim Fast Keto bars, so I will be looking for those the next time I grocery shop. But I just wanted to let you know that I have found a breakfast slash meal replacement protein bar slash pre-workout snack that I have been enjoying eating. Okay, now let's get into some TV. The first thing I want to talk about is Girls Cruise. And Girls Cruise premiered in July, I think. But by the time it premiered, I think I had already done my monthly favorites or something like that. But I've been loving this show. Now, I will say that it comes on VH1, by the way. I will say that they have some episodes that are amazing. And then some episodes, they're like a filler episode. And it's basically nothing going on. But the reason why I like the show is because Little Kim is just so real down to earth and funny I just love her I've always loved little Kim's music but I never really knew a lot about her as far as her personality because she's pretty low-key now but watching girls cruise you really get a feel for her vibe her personality and she is just everything I love some Kimmy Blanco uh, I've also been obsessed with Orange is the New Black. So the seventh season premiered this month. I watched it in about three days. And you guys, honestly, it's probably my favorite season with exception of the first two seasons because after that, they kind of got a little boring. But season seven of Orange is the New Black is amazing. So if you fell off of the Orange is the New Black trend, which I totally get it because it kind of declined for me as well, try season seven out. Um, they handle a lot of tough topics. They also handle a lot of just real situations and it brought me back to the reasons that I first started loving Orange is the New Black because it was so real. Not that I've ever been to prison or jail, but um, 
I studied psychology and social psychology and I know about what goes on in the world and these issues that inmates are dealing with are some that we all deal with and it was just the realest raw season ever and I loved it. I'm sad that the series is over but I think they definitely came back strong with their final season. Uh, and the last movie I want to talk about is called Sex Tuplets and that is written and directed and starring I think I think it was written and directed by him Marlon Wayans and I love him I've loved him since the days of him acting on television I just he's so funny to me but this movie was so funny my brother actually told me about it because he follows him on Instagram and so he knew it was coming out I pictured it as being this cheesy movie it definitely has some cheesy comedy in it but there are some scenes that are just over the top hilarious and I laughed so much watching this movie sex tuplets I'm going to watch it again uh, it's definitely right up my alley in terms of just good family funny just that type of humor I love it kind of reminds me of the clumps but in this movie he's playing all six characters well main characters like simultaneously so like they're all in a scene together so I really really love that movie it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea I've seen some people say that they hated it I don't know I thought it was funny I liked it is it the best movie no but it was hilarious <laughs> okay so those are all of my favorites this month let me know down below what were some of your favorites I just had a great August August was an amazing month uh, September I hope is just as great and if you guys have any comments or questions feel free to leave them down below and I will see you in the next video bye <music>